Episode 20, Kid Zooey. Kid Zooey. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, so a personal favorite of our kids, Kid Zooey. I mean, yeah, man. I don't think there's a day that my kids don't go without going on Kid Zooey. You know what? It, this is such a fun, fun product, mm-hmm. right? It, it's the, the great thing. I think the great thing about this product is free. Yes. So that's a that's, that's really really nice. Although I did hear there was a, a for fee version of this. Yeah, there is a for fee version. Um, there's also basically well, it started out differently when it first started. There was. Um, I guess two different versions, and right. uh, but I, I think right as of right now, the majority of their their money comes in via advertising. But okay. I think there okay. is a for fee service which gives yeah. um, kids the abil- uh, ability to more uh, to to save their their preferences okay. and to you know more. Uh, it's the one that I have right now, the one I've always been using from the beginning of time, has been the the, the free version, and I've had no need to to go and, and pay for this thing, right. um, which I I think I, I would. I would gladly do um, because, you know, Matthew likes it so much. So stats, right? So it's an internet browser for kids. Right. Um, it also has kid-friendly YouTube videos, which is huge because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there are some videos out there that are not kid-friendly. Not so much. Um, but this is great because it actually it actually filters down all the bad stuff and only allows the kids to watch, you know, kid-friendly stuff. Yes. Um, everything is, is pre-screened and approved by the editorial staff, by teachers, by parents. And the really cool thing about it, too, is that you get these weekly activity reports. Right. So you know where your kids have, are going, where they've been, where they're, where they're hanging out mostly on, on Kid Zooey. And from what I understand, the more time your kid is on Kid Zooey, Kid Zooey tailors their content to, 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 that, to that particular child. Mm-hmm. So my son likes uh, Curious George. Um, so I'm assuming at some point in time, I haven't seen it yet, he'll get more and more Curious George stuff, stuff coming towards him. Um, so, you know, as far as pros are concerned, um, uh, you need a parent account. That's right. So your kid just can't sign up for himself or by himself. You need to be a parent. The parent needs to set up everything up for the kid. Um, there's kids who games. Um, I love Curious George. So does my son. Mm-hmm. Um, you get that, that, that email report, um, letting you know exactly, uh, your child's activity on kids Zooey. And um, they only get age-appropriate stuff. Yeah, I agree. I think that um, I like it because I know when my kids are on Kidzooey, they're not going to find stuff that's going to be problematic. You know? Yeah. That those yeah. those innocent searches are going to give back bad results. I, I I completely agree with you. I really do. And you know, and again, this does not. So we can't. We have to st- take a step back here, right? We're not using, or Zev and I are not saying to use technology to monitor your kids. Right. Okay, you still need to monitor your children. So have the PC in a common room. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure that, you know, and always check what they're doing. You know, where, where are you going? Where, where, you know, are, are you on Kid Zooey? Are you not on Kid Zooey? Um, so keep, always keep that in mind too. So, you know, when I launch Kid Zooey, I, I leave my Kid Zooey in lock mode. Yeah. All right, because like I have a three-year-old, so he has a tendency of hitting the keys and then it'll, it'll <laughs> minimize and he'll get upset and he'll start throwing a little temper tantrum. So I keep it in lock mode. Um, and lock mode is is kind of cool until this weekend, where um, I don't know what happened, okay. but Kid Zooey decided to change the password that I created for the account. Right. So I'm trying to break out of the locked Kid Zooey browser, and it won't allow me to do that. So I had to do Control Alt Delete on my on my Windows box mm-hmm. and um, log off. Right. And then log back in, and then I could you know gain access to the desktop. So I don't know if that was a glitch. I don't know what the heck that was, but that was my only problem uh, with Kid Zooey so far. Let me think about this. Yeah, pretty much my only problem with Kid Zooey. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a great little product. Yeah, it is a great little it product. Really- I like, I like how they're, they're moving towards making those parental controls a lot simpler. Um, sure. There are a little tweaky issues that can happen. Yeah. yeah that, so that's one thing. And uh, as far as con, and then the second con that I say what I would have is, is for widescreen displays most. Computers are, you know, I guess the old display, the four by three. If sure. it's a widescreen sixteen by nine display, right. it kind of stretches out everything. It's not formatted. Yeah, properly. it lo- it looks 
looks a little it looks a little ugly right. it, it really does you know and not for nothing Zev. i mean I, I guess another con too i wish they had more hd content right but you know they're, they're i mean i don't think it's really their fault because kids do is more of an aggregator again they're a browser sure. they're not they, they're not they don't create the content they just filter the content so so we can so my children or our children can wa actually watch it i just wish they had more of a of a hd quality of content coming through like the, the youtube stuff is you know just you know crappy content right right but again i guess i really can't blame them, so I, I take that back it's not really a con on their part it's just they're, they're, they're filtering that content that's what the, that's that we're getting yeah so. I, I and i think that for the age group that we're we're specific to that we're looking at um i don't know if they're really so concerned with the quality um and honestly they don't even understand they don't even know that it's not it's stretched yeah. they're just kind of like they like the environment it's very colorful there's a lot of stuff going on yeah, it's they could search anything and 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 they yeah. get good yeah. results so yeah i think overall it's a great product i think that it every is. parent should definitely look at this as as the first stage of getting your kids on the internet and having them uh interact and and look for games and stuff like that so i agree so for that reason it, we give it you go to four or five yeah we we actually like this product a whole lot, and it's free. It's wonderful for the kids. Again, my son's three years old. He likes it a lot. I mean, he he goes to Curious George every single time. So he's he's a he's a one time, I guess, a shopper, so to speak. <laughs> um, but you know, I just like it. All right. Like it. So, man in the yellow hat, we give you four remotes. Everybody, check out Kidzui, and uh, let us know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That thing right there. Yeah, I have to look at the uh, the Curious George things though. That's pretty cool. Dude, he, he loves Curious George so much. George rocks, it's ridiculous. man. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He's a busy little monkey. He is, man. He's a busy little monkey.